Hey guys, we're with Palmetto Battery Pros and today we are going to be removing and reinstalling the hybrid battery on a 2011 Toyota Prius C. The traction battery for this vehicle is located underneath the back seat. So on the plastic trim pieces below the seat, there are seven clips here, our little plastic clips. So go ahead and use a uh, trim puller or something flat to get in there and pop these out without breaking them. So I removed it all in one piece, but it does remove in three pieces if you need. And also this is uh, uh, air intake. So uh, we're definitely gonna wanna clean this out. It got really dirty through the years. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that up so the battery can get nice fresh air. So there are two areas where the back seat kind of clamps down to the frame. So you can go ahead and pop those up. Just give them a good tug and pop them up. And then you can go ahead and remove the back seat and this will expose the hybrid battery. And as always, the first thing we do is take the service plug out. I'm gonna push it down, pull it out towards you and remove it. This is also the location of the 12 volt auxiliary battery. So uh, once we get down here, we're gonna go ahead and take our terminals off, test this battery, make sure it's good. So I removed the negative terminal from the battery post using my 10 millimeter socket. So, and again, the service plug is removed. So we are nice and safe to work on this battery. Okay, next using your 14 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove this uh, bolt right there, two in the back, and then you have two in the front on the bottom, one there and one right here. Go ahead and remove this whole uh, bracket assembly here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove this vent tube right here. Go ahead and use with something thin or like a flat head or trim puller. Go ahead and pop your plastic clip out. And then this air tube should just slide right out. With your trim pullers, go ahead and remove this plastic clip, which is attaches the carpet right here to the battery. And there's also one down on this side you can see. Let's go ahead and disconnect this quick connect it pushes in here and then you have this clip right here which I'll use some trim pullers to pop that out and that connects with this guy right here which pushes in there pops out next you have these two and they pinch in from the in or from the top and bottom so if you can reach your hand here and pinch each side pop them out there you go and last you have this little guy here push in the top, pull him out. Once you have this harness here disconnected, go ahead and put it safely to the side and out of the way. And now we're ready to move on to the other side. So the first thing we'll do on this side is remove this plate right here. And to do that, we need to remove this high voltage plastic clip. And we do that with the service plug. All right, using your 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove one, two, three, and four nuts to remove this cover plate. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pinch in right here and remove our main high voltage lines from the battery. And we're gonna set it off in a nice safe place over here to the side. There is a small clip here that you'll want to remove from the battery. And the last one is here on the fan. Go ahead and push it down and pop it out as well. And you'll want to remove this clip here and it pinches in from the sides. Now that we have everything disconnected from this side of the battery, we can go ahead and remove our four 12 millimeter mounting bolts. And I'll show them to you right now. One here. There is one in the front driver's side and one in the front passenger side. And then we have the final and fourth one right there on the rear passenger side. And once we remove those, we can go ahead and take the battery out. We just removed the battery and it is pretty dirty down here. So uh, we are going to clean this whole compartment area before we put the new battery back in. 
And the reason this is so important is because the battery needs cool air from the cabin to dissipate heat buildup. So it's really important to keep all your vents and your fan clean. And here is the hybrid battery on the table. This is the cooling fan. And you can see it is completely blocked up. Uh, there's very little airflow, probably 80, 90% blockage here. So the battery cells were heating up and it caused them to fail prematurely. Ugh. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the cooling fan by removing these two 10 millimeter nuts and bolts here. And there's one on the back here. We'll be able to take this out. Once you get your fan out, you can see that there's these plastic clips all the way around it. That will, once you pop them, allow you to take the cover off. Now we're gonna blow this out, wipe it down. And when you look at the other side of the fan, you can see it's pretty dirty as well. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe that down too. So now let's go ahead and get the cover off the battery. And first we'll wanna remove this piece here, which is held on by these two 10 millimeter bolts on each side. And there's also a 10 millimeter nut down on the bottom there. Okay, go over to the other side and you're gonna remove six 10 millimeters. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you remove them, go ahead and set this off to the side. It's not gonna remove completely. This is your service plug lines here to the battery. And next we're gonna remove this side piece with these five 10 millimeters. One, two, three, four, and five. On the other side, remove the three bottom 10 millimeters. And this will expose the hybrid modules. Gently prying from the top, remove the bus bar covers. And just right off the bat, you can see that all this corrosion on the hardware, and these are supposed to be bright colored uh, copper, and you can see they're pretty much black. Uh, that can also cause the P0A80 code. So we will be replacing these when we rebuild this battery pack. And also just from the fan, we can tell that uh, there was a lot of heat buildup. So uh, usually when you see clogged fans, you know that these middle cells uh, probably degraded a lot quicker than the outside cells because the heat builds up more here in the middle. So we are gonna replace all of these cells with reconditioned cells that are all balanced and ready to go. After that, we will put this battery on a balancing charge before reinstalling it back into the vehicle. I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to disassemble the battery. First, we are going to pop this plastic clip here. And then you can remove the vent tube here. And next, the relay has to come off. So here, here, and here are 10 millimeters. Go ahead and remove those. You also need to remove the eight millimeter here and here. Next, we will remove the eight millimeter uh, nuts here that hold the bus bars and temperature sensors in place. Okay, while we're over on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the 10 eight millimeter anchor bolts. Now that the anchor bolts are out, we can go ahead and move on to the other side. And just like the other side, go ahead and remove your eight millimeter nuts and your 10 eight millimeter anchor bolts. All right, you can go ahead and remove the bus bars on this side. All right, so we need to remove this side because you're gonna wanna take this end plate off. It's going to be nearly impossible to get this one lined back up if you try to stack your cells from that side. So um, to do that, there are two 10 millimeter bolts here on the bottom of this plate here. And then there's another one right here. So we're going to remove that. It's probably going to be a little easier than removing these plastic clips. And the last thing we need to do is remove this black clip here. 
and then we can set this to the side. Go ahead and take the ECU off by removing the last 10 millimeter. Next, using your 12 millimeter, go ahead and remove these four 12 millimeter mounting bolts, and then you can remove uh, this end cap. And this will expose the modules. So you can see here, the original modules are pretty dirty. And uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and remove all of them, clean this tray out, and then we will repack it with the reconditioned modules. So we have our reconditioned modules in, and we went ahead and put the end cap back on with our air cap here on the bottom. Make sure you have that there. Next, we put the ECU up, and here's a 10 millimeter here we'll tighten down. Go ahead and plug in your temperature sensor wiring harness. We also went ahead and put this whole assembly back together. And again, I didn't take the plastic clips out just to keep it easy, but uh, 10 millimeter here and two 10 millimeters down here at the bottom on each side. One and two. So we'll go ahead and tighten all those down. Okay, so we went ahead and put the temperature sensors back in place. We can attach this down here into the vent. Plug this in here. We did put one, two, three 10 millimeters. Put our relay junction block back. Put our fan back on and we do have it nice and clean now, ready to go. We also inserted the temperature sensor harness and the temperature sensors here, middle of the pack and at the other end, secured them down to the frame. Go ahead and put the 10 eight millimeter anchor bolts on each side to secure the modules down to the frame. Inspect the ECU pins here on the orange port for corrosion or burning. And this one looks good. So we are going to go ahead and plug our voltage acquisition wiring harness back in. Go ahead and put your voltage meter acquisition wiring harness in place. And go ahead and put your bus bars on the other side and install your service plug. Once you have everything tightened on the voltage acquisition wiring harness side, go ahead and attach the main positive and main negative. At this point, go ahead and double check all of your nuts. Make sure they are tight because if they are not, you go to put this back together, it will keep the hybrid light on. And once you're sure everything is tightened up, go ahead and replace your bus bar covers. So the cover is gonna go on the same way that it came off. So the top piece and the side piece that are connected, we're gonna go ahead and put that on first and go ahead and secure it with the 10 millimeter nuts. Go ahead and put on the other side of the case. Okay, so we tested the 12 volt battery and it had a little over 100 cold cranking amps. So we are going to replace it. And to replace, first thing we're gonna do is remove the positive uh, terminal here. And then we're gonna 10 millimeter there, 10 millimeter here, remove the bracket. We've gone ahead and replaced the 12 volt battery and have the bracket back on and tightened down. Positive post on, negative post off. So now we are ready to reinstall the hybrid battery. All right, now we have the battery installed and all the holes line up so we can put our 12 millimeter uh, nuts and screws in place. There are two screws here in the back. There's one, here's number two. And then in the front, it kind of sits on these threads right here and then you just put the nut on. And the same over here. And also while you're down here, go ahead and put your plastic clips back into uh, to secure the carpet down to the battery. 
Now we can install everything on this side of the battery, just like it came off. Make sure you have all your plugs in. And your high voltage lines, they only go one way, so you're not gonna get them wrong. Go ahead and plug those in. And here's the last one on this side. And go ahead and put the battery cover back on. Tighten down the four 10 millimeter nuts and replace the high voltage clip. All right, come over to the other side and make sure all your harnesses are plugged in over here. And the last plug is here on top. So now we're hooked up and ready to test this battery. So we'll go ahead and put our service plug in and connect our 12 volt supply. All right, so we have everything hooked up and now we're gonna run post diagnostics and then take the car for a test drive. And if everything checks out, then we'll button it up real quick. Go ahead and install your vent tube. It just slides right into place. And then there's the plastic clip here. You can go ahead and put your seat bar in place and tighten it down with the 14 millimeters here, here, and there's two on the bottom here and here. And once you do that, you can go ahead and put your service plug back in and hook up your 12 volt supply, positive and negative. Put the back seat in and pop it back down into place. Okay guys, that's it for the Prius C removal and installation video. I touched on reconditioning the battery and I hope this video answered any questions you may have had. If you have additional questions, please leave them in the comments below. We have everything buttoned up and have run post diagnostics and this car is ready to go back to the customer. Please hit that like and subscribe button. We have more hybrid videos coming out and we hope to see you the next time. Appreciate you watching. Thanks y'all.